household name after the Taliban shot her in the head simply for attending school. At 17, she became the youngest person to ever win a Nobel Prize. It's such an inspirational story. He named me Malala, tells the story of this incredible young woman and the work she's dedicated her life to and joining us in pursuit of his own life's work, as always, movie man Jabba. Jabba Davies. Which the Nobel Committee hasn't recognised yeah, yet. Not yet. <laughs> Thank the, goodness. The Nobel Prize for movie reviews. But tell us, what's it like? Well, obviously uncanny timing for a movie about Malala to be released this week in the wake of Paris. Uh, Malala, if you don't know, as you've set up just there, uh, is a, was shot in the head by the Taliban on a school bus on the way to school. Her father was a teacher. What's fascinating about this documentary is that it delves into the origins of uh, a, an Afghani character by the name of Malalai who rallied the troops, the Afghani troops, against the Brits in the 1800s. Oh. A teenage girl who was uh, then killed on the battlefield and uh, Malala's father named Malala after this um, iconic Afghan character, really? despite the fact they're in Pakistan. Uh, he also made sure that Malala was the first female ever entered into the family's family tree. Wow. Before wow. that, always reserved just for males. So that's the dad there. The documentary has fly-on-the-wall footage, interviews uh, at home. It's fantastic. It talks to um, Malala's brothers, who say she's a bully and that she's always hitting them. <laughs> yeah. This, this Nobel, Nobel Prize winner is actually, you know, beating them up at home. Um, what is fascinating is I had no idea that um, prior to uh, becoming a victim of the Taliban, she was an outspoken critic of the Taliban mm, due to the, yeah. uh, the impact they were having um, in the Swat Valley in Pakistan where she lived. They'd blown up something like 400 schools. Mm. I mean, the, the, the whole mm. concept of what was going on in that part of the world is just impossible to fathom. Mm. I think this movie gives a whole new appreciation for the education that maybe some of us, me included, take for granted. Let's take a look at some of Hinnami Malala. My father said, have you forgiven them? All this time, you've, you've never felt angry? No. Not even a, as small as an atom, or maybe the nucleus of an atom, or maybe a proton, or maybe a quark. Never angry? Never. Islam teaches us humanity, equality, forgiveness. She is obviously a devout Muslim. She is the most gorgeous teenager you've ever seen. The only criticism of the film at the time, and then in hindsight I realised that was the whole point of the film, is that it doesn't really delve into her in the way that a movie like Amy Winehouse explored mm -hmm. mm. Um, Amy. It is about the bigger problem of how there are 66 million kids going without education in the world, yeah. a problem that is increased by what's happening in Syria, the refugees around the world. 66 million kids of school age not attending school. Isn't it amazing that someone's so young could have such a mature understanding and a mature attitude towards that anger. It's incredible. Her and her father are an incredible double act. That is must-see viewing, mm. essential viewing. Uh, if you've got a daughter, if you have a son, if you uh, have anything to do with the education system, if you're interested in human rights whatsoever, four stars for her name in Malala. Um, it's the only movie out this week up against Spectre, which of course is the 24th James on, Bond on film. On different ends of the spectrum. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess the, the uncanny thing too with Spectre is it's all about uh, global surveillance and intelligent networks against um, the dreaded Spectre organisation. Uh, if Skyfall was the final song in a in a ACDC concert, this is the encore. Mm -hmm. So it's a greatest hits film, as we touched on last week. Um, for fans of Bond, I think they're going to go away very happy from this film. Um, it's extremely entertaining. It's shot like a whiskey commercial, so ev everything just looks <laughs> he gorgeous. He is a whiskey commercial, really, <laughs> isn't exactly. yeah. uh, yeah. I've heard That's very true. mixed reviews on Ooh. it, Jabs. You know, everyone says it looks beautiful. You know, the technical staff have done a terrific job on this film, but a lot of people say the script it's very rubbishy. My two, I mean, it's a Bond film. Two of my so. favourite reviewers, uh, The Guardian and the UK, Peter Bradshaw, who's the head writer, five stars. Right. I think being mm -hmm. a Brit, got right behind it. Luke Buckmaster, who's a fantastic Aussie uh, oh, critic, two stars. Right. He says it's too much between a parody uh, oh, of cool. itself um, and, and there are maybe some issues with the script. Christoph Waltz plays the villain. He's uh, pretty good. Uh, overall, Spectre is spectacular. It, it ticks every box that Sometimes Bond Sometimes people try to find too much in a movie. At the end it's of the day, it's Bond a Bond film. Bond movie. I it's think the problem was entertaining. You're going to get your popcorn and enjoy it. The last one was so good. Skyfall yeah. was yeah. so fantastic. So this is like a little extra, little extra taste, a cherry on top.
Anything else for us, James? We have a movie out next week um, because there's only two movies out this week. Next week we've got The Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. There's a new movie as well from Julia Roberts, Nicole Kidman and she would tell Edgy of Four called Seeker in Their Eyes. I'm under embargo. I can't talk Ooh. about how good that film oh, is. Okay. There's also a movie I can talk about called 99 Homes and this is the story uh, Andrew Garfield, who we know from the Spider-Man films, he's evicted from his home by this creepy guy, Michael Shannon. He's a dodgy real estate developer. This is based on a true story. Um, about how the US government was propping up mortgages and propping up the real estate business. Garfield gets turfed out of his home, then goes to work for this guy uh, and starts evicting other people. It's the most compelling drama I've seen this year. Wow. It is just wow. had me on the edge of my seat. Well, oh, I say before you, you go, I know I'm a bit behind the eight ball, but I went to see The Dressmaker with my mum this week. How Great good is Aussie it? film. It was so good. My mate Shane Bourne, extraordinary, some extraordinary scenes, had me kind of going, oh, Shane. Um, but it's amazing. Very different show. Uh, who's yeah, a very who different chain of, uh, of Aussie of Aussie actors in the dressmaker, as my yeah, mum calls great. it, orgasmic. All oh, right, <laughs> is okay. That right? My mum, <laughs> Kathy, wow. my mum didn't give that quite <laughs> safe review, but we very much enjoyed get the your day out. So. Subscription to Vogue for so Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> See what happens. Thank you, uh, thank you Jax, guys. <laughs> yeah, cherry oh. on top of our show this morning. <laughs> Look, still to come.